welcome all myself assistant professor tukur gupta from ajay kumar garg engineering college gazibad the subject that i am covering in these lectures is microprocessor and microcontroller the subject code is kc502 and the topic that i am covering is all the topics covered under unit 1 so today i am covering the topic interrupts 8085 interrupts so let's see let's go into details of the interrupts an interrupt is a signal initiated by an external device so it's basically a signal initiated by an external device to the microprocessor once this signal is received the microprocessor completes the execution of the current instruction and responds to the interrupt so it is somewhat like a signal which interrupts the main program in between and it has the such a priority that it has to be executed and again the program after its execution is complete again the program has to go back to its normal execution routine so how can we categorize these interrupts broadly speaking interrupts are categorized as the software and the hardware interrupts so when we talk about the hardware interrupts we mean those interrupts which are uh, triggered to the main controller main microprocessor through the hardware pins and the software interrupts are those interrupts which are triggered using the software that is using the programming so among the hardware interrupts there are trap rst 7.5 6.5 5.5 5 and intr among the software interrupts these are rst 0 to rst 7 as i have already discussed in the previous slide now again when we talk about the hardware interrupts these can again be classified as vectored interrupts and non vectored interrupts vectored interrupts are those interrupts whose address locations are predefined and whenever these interrupts arrives the program control goes to those memory locations automatically but in case of the non vectored interrupts the memory location is to be specified intentionally by the programmer now another category of division is maskable interrupts and non maskable interrupts when we talk about the maskable interrupts their execution can be delayed but in case of non maskable interrupt they cannot be delayed they have to be executed immediately so trap is an example of non maskable interrupt and the rest of those hardware interrupts are all maskable interrupts so let's go into these interrupts study these interrupts in detail so when we talk about the software interrupts we can say these are the program instructions when the instruction is executed the pro processor executes an interrupt service routine stored in the vector address of the software interrupt instruction yes the software interrupts of 8085 are rst0 rst1 rst2 rst3 4 5 6 and rst7 the vector addresses of these software interrupts are given in the table how they are calculated i have already discussed in the previous slides again as an example we can discuss it again suppose i am taking rst2 and i have to find out ki whenever this rst2 instruction is encountered then to which memory location my program uh, program execution control will go so how we will calculate this number is to be multiplied by 8 so whatever rst we take or whatever instruction we take we have to multiply it by 8 so the number we are obtaining here is in case of rst2 is 16 16 this is the decimal number and we have to convert it into hexadecimal 
in hexadecimal this number is 1 0 0 0 1 0 edge. So, the memory location to which the program execution control will get transferred is 0 0 1 0 edge. Similarly, for other RSTs for other restart routines the same is the case we have to multiply this number by 8 and whatever value is obtained it is a decimal and the corresponding hexadecimal will give these addresses to which the program control will go and these addresses are termed as a vector address. The vector the term vector we already know in physics we have already studied the term vector means direction. So, it means it gives the memory location it gives us the direction to which the memory control has to, to which the program control has to go. Again for RST 7.5, 6.5 and 7, 5.5 and trap. So, the vector addresses are predefined. The software interrupt instructions are included at the appropriate place in the main program. When the processor encounters the software instruction, it pushes the contents of PC to the stack. Yes, again, as we already studied in the branching instructions, the same is the case here. Then loads the vector address in PC and starts executing the interrupt service routine stored in this vector address. At the end of the ISR, a return instruction RET will be placed. And similar to the case of call instruction, the contents of the stack are again popped out and goes back to the program counter. Now, the program counter contains the next memory location of the main routine from where it has left off. So, the, when the return instruction is executed, the processor pops the contents of the stack to the PC. Hence, the processor control returns to the main program after serving the interrupt. Execution of interrupt service routine is referred to as the servicing of interrupt. All the software interrupts of 8085 are vectored interrupts. So, this we have to note that all the software interrupts are the vector interrupts. We have to note that this is an important point that these software interrupts cannot be masked and they cannot be disabled. So, we have to Note this important point the, these software interrupts cannot be masked. So, means these are non maskable and they cannot be disabled. Yes, the software interrupts are 8 in number. That is that was the summary for software interrupts. Next, we move on to the hardware interrupts. These are the interrupts provided as the signals to the microprocessor means through the hardware pins yes. So, the interrupts those are provided to the processor through the hardware pins is referred to as the hardware interrupt. So, these are there are 5 interrupt signals in 8085 that is trap, RST 7.5, 6.5, 5.5 and INTR. So, these are all hardware interrupts and the prior priority of these interrupts goes like this as mentioned. Trap is having the highest priority, then RST 7.5, 6.5, 5.5, and INTR. So, these instructions are having the priority in this manner. Trap is having the highest priority, and INTR is having the lowest priority. The program executed for the service of the interrupting device is called the service routine. Yes. So, the program which is written for the interrupt service is known as a service routine. So, let us discuss these uh, hardware interrupts one by one. So, what is trap? First of all, it is non maskable interrupt we can call it as NMI and it is unaffected by any mask or interrupt enable. It is having the highest priority and also it is vectored interrupt as vector address is fixed that is the memory location where to transfer the control is fixed. Trap interrupt is H and level triggered this means that the trap must go high and remain high until it is acknowledged. 
yes so it is both edge and level triggered in sudden power failure it executes isr and send the data from the main memory to the backup memory so this is how it is having the highest priority and is to be executed in any of the case the signal which overrides the trap is hold signal that is if the processor receives a hold and trap at the same time then hold is recognized first and then trap is recognized so we can say hold is having the higher priority to trap there are two ways to clear the trap and trap by resetting the microprocessor externally or by giving a high trap acknowledge internal signal so in this way trap can be cleared next interrupt is rst 7.5 it is a maskable interrupt and it is a high, having the highest second highest priority after trap it is edge sensitive that is interrupt goes to the high and no need to maintain high state until it's recognized masked maskable interrupt it is maskable interrupt and is by disabled by di instruction i have already told you in the previous machine control instructions category di instruction is disable interrupt system or processor reset second is op this option is there and after reorganization of the interrupt so in this these in any of these ways we can uh, mask the uh, it is dis, uh, can, we can disable the rst 7.5 interrupt rst 6.5 and rst 5.5 these are both level triggered means it goes to high and stay high until it is recognized this is also maskable interrupt and it is it is disabled by di and sim instruction system or processor reset and after recognition of the interrupt it is enabled by ei instruction rst 6.5 has a third priority whereas rst 5.5 has the fourth priority these interrupts are classified further into two classes based on the destination address and response so how they are categorized these are categorized into vectored and non vectored interrupts so what how can we define the vector interrupts if the address of the service routine is known to the if the address is known to the microprocessor that is if the service routine begins at a predefined address then the interrupts are called the vector interrupts the vector address is calculated as n into 8 this i have already discussed where n is the number of re rst yes suppose i am writing rst 3 then 3 will get multiplied by 8 this is 24 in decimal and this has to be converted into hexadecimal and this gives us the ad address of the memory location to which the program control will get transfer so here it has been explained rst 7.5 7.5 into 8 means 60 16 hexadecimal number is 003c therefore the branching address of rst 7.5 is 003c yes similarly rst 6.5 gives 0034 rst 5.5 gives 002c and trap 0024 so these are all vector interrupts in case of non vector interrupts the address of the service routine is not known in uh, to the prior to the microprocessor it is sent by the interrupting device so there are certain signals through which the address is sent suppose this is the interrupting device and this is sending an intr signal then acknowledgement will be sent yes low order address inta higher order address so in this way the complete address is sent yes when the interrupt flip flop is enabled and intr is high microprocessor executes the current instruction and makes inta low so in this way the interrupt is in, uh, executed the interrupting device sends the service routine address to the microprocessor as shown in the figure 
So, as shown in this figure, the interrupting device sends the service routine address to the microprocessor as shown. Based on the flexibility to enable or disable the interrupt, the interrupts are classified as maskable interrupts and non-maskable interrupts. Even if the interrupt signals are high, microprocessor will respond to these signals only when interrupt flip-flop is enabled. RST 7.5, 6.5, 5.5 and INTR. These are all maskable interrupts. When we talk about the non-maskable interrupt, these interrupts cannot be ignored, they cannot be delayed. Once the signal is enabled, the microprocessor immediately responds to this interrupt. Example is trap. Trap is having the highest priority and it is non-maskable also. So, in this way, in this lecture, we got to know that the interrupts are classified broadly into two categories, hardware and software interrupts. Among the hardware interrupts, there are trap RST 7.5, 6.5, and among the software interrupts, there are RST 0 to RST 7. They can again be broadly categorized as vectored interrupts and non vectored interrupts. Vectored interrupts are those whose addresses are predefined and their addresses can be simply calculated by multiplying the RST number by 8 and converting that resultant decimal number into hexadecimal number and which gives us the address of the memory location to which the instruction control is transferred. And in case of non vectored interrupts, the memory location for the branching is to be specified. Next broad category is maskable and non maskable interrupts. Again, if the interrupt signals are high, the microprocessor will uh, respond if only if the interrupt flip flop is enabled. So, in the maskable interrupts can be delayed, but in case of non maskable interrupt, they cannot be delayed, they cannot be ignored. In this way, we sum up with the interrupts of 8085 and their various categories. That is all for this lecture. Thank you.